Okay, so we've been asked about eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and multiplicity. So um, we're going to start, rather than looking at that, we're going to think about what we mean by an eigenvalue, eigenvector. So I've written here my equation, ax equals lambda x. So let's think about what that's actually doing. I like to sometimes think of it as, imagine I've got a vector a, and I have a vector and it sort of comes into this matrix, and this matrix somehow moves the vector around. It changes the vector. It, it becomes something new, maybe a new vector y. So it's almost like a little black box. So this is my little black box. It takes a vector, and then when I do this multiply, it sort of moves it around, and you get a new vector. So what's so cool about an eigenvector? Well, the thing about an eigenvector is I take my vector in this black box, and what happens is I get a lambda times x. So it's almost like, imagine, you know, I've got this vector that looks like this. And then I sort of have this transformation to it, this a, and this vector gets moved. So it's basically, it looks the same. It's in the same direction, but it's a multiple. It might be multiplied if it was a negative eigenvalue in this direction, or it might be the same if you had an eigenvalue of 1. Or it might be twice as long if you had an eigenvalue of 2. But it took this vector here and it just moved it. But when it moved it, it was still in the same direction, which is sort of quite cool. It's like, um, it's almost like what are the points that this vector sort of returns them back again? And the eigenvalue is the amount it gets multiplied by, but it's still in the same direction. Okay. Now, that so far, we've been talking about something with multiplicity 1. But what would happen if sorry, what would happen if we had multiplicity 2? So let's imagine I have an eigenvalue, lambda equals, say, 3. And it has multiplicity of 2. Well, if you work through, you would find that give myself some space. You would find now that when we actually do the calculation, we would have two eigenvalues. So before we said, well, what are the what's the line that this would lie on that would get just basically moved along the line? So we had, you know, multiplicity when we had this line and they got moved along by that amount. But now we've got eigenvalues and we're saying, well, <clears throat> we've got two of them. So what are two eigen, sorry, not two eigenvalues, that's rubbish, two eigenvectors. So let me um, start again. So if we've got my multiplicity 2, we're going to have two eigenvectors. Well, these two eigenvectors will be, by the nature of them, um, linear independent, and they're basically going to describe... a two-dimensional space. Or in other words, there's now going to be a plane of vectors that, if you line it, just get multiplied. So imagine I've now got my three dimensions. And let's say I have my, I said we had three, and let's say that the vectors ended up being 0, 1, 1, 0, and 0, 1, 0. So basically that is this plane here. This is x, this is y, and z. This is the x, y plane. So any vector in this plane now is basically going to be turned and just multiplied by the length 3. And if we had a multiplicity of um, 3, we'd have a three-dimensional space. Any vector in that would be returned, but now multiplied by whatever the eigenvalue is. So... When we talk about multiplicity, we're saying what is the subspace described by that eigen 
value and any vector now that lies within that space described when we multiply it by the matrix would be returned but now it will be multiplied by that eigenvalue. I hope that sort of helps a little bit. Cheers.